Ooh. Oh, yeah. I just want to get that out. Hey, you might want to have it. <laughs> Be hard to take notes without it. Huh. I just had to check on Rose's little. Not that I didn't trust you, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was really getting a check. Yeah. I mean, what? I said, not that I don't trust you, but I had to check email real quick. So, homework 32, starting out with factoring by grouping. So, factoring by grouping is used when you have four or more terms. We're just going to do it with four terms. And basically what we're going to do is group two and two together and take out that greatest common factor like we did on the previous page. So, if your problem is in descending order as far as the exponents, three, two, one, none, the right order for your thing, just leave it in that order. I'm going to group the first two together. So I have a 5x to the third plus a 7x squared. Just looking at those two terms, I want to take out my greatest common factor. Well, 5 and 7 have a common factor of 1, but I have an x to the third and an x squared, so I take out the lower exponent, the x squared. So x squared is my greatest common factor, and I divide that out. 5x to the third, if I take out x squared, I just get a 5x, because I subtract them off of the exponent. 7x squared, if I take out the x squared, I'm just going to have my 7 left, right? 2 minus 2 is no x is left over. So the goal with my other two terms, my other two terms, the 10x plus 14, is that I want to end up with the same thing in the parentheses. So I'm going to look at this first term, 10x, and say, what do I have to divide that by to get 5x? I have to divide it by 2. And it's going to be a positive 2 because I don't want any signs to change. So I'm going to divide each of those by a plus 2. It also happens to be the greatest common factor of 10 and 14, right? So 10x divided by 2 is 5x. 14 divided by 2 is 7. So what happens is you both now have a common factor of 5x plus 7. So the 5x plus 7 now becomes the common thing that we put in front. And when we divide the 5x plus 7 out of both of those two terms, we get the stuff that's in front, the x squared plus the 2. Now, of course, if we wanted to check our answer, our answer said 5x plus 7 times x squared plus 2. All we do is FOIL it out to see do we get what we started with. So 5x times x squared is 5x to the third. 5x times 2 is a positive 10x. 7 times x squared is a positive 7x squared. 7 times 2 is 14. Now you should end up with the same four terms, not necessarily in the same order. We can see that two of them got switched around, but we got the same four terms so we know, yep, I did it right. That's going to be my answer. So the nice thing about factoring is you can always multiply it back out to see did I do it right. Well, that's foiling it, right? Yep, foiling it back out. Check answer. Yep. So number two, going to factor by grouping, and these first ones are all going to be in a nice order for us. And so I'm going to start with my first two terms, the 5v to the third minus the 2v to the second. My greatest common factor there is 1v <laughs> squared. So I can take out a v squared, right? So if I take 5v to the third and I divide out the v squared, I get 5v and negative 2v squared divided by the v squared, negative 2. So that this times this is this, and that times that is that. Sure enough it is. My other two terms, plus 35v minus 14. So. I have a 35V, I know I want to get a 5V, I'm going to divide that by seven. positive 7. 
or just look, what is the greatest common factor of 35 and 14? It's a 7. <laughs> so 35B divided by 7 is 5B. Negative 14 divided by 7 minus 2. So that the two things in the parentheses should be exactly the same. That then becomes your greatest common factor. So my greatest common factor here is 5V minus 2. If I divide that out of each of my two terms, in my other set of parentheses I'm going to have the V squared plus 7. Those two values that ended up being in front of our parentheses. So 5V minus 2 times V squared plus 7 is going to end up being my answer. Number 3 then. I'm going to factor that by grouping. I'm going to take the 10U to the third and the minus 6U squared. And this time my greatest common factor is 2. two. U squared. <laughs> U squared. That's what was that? Okay, that's the greatest common factor of the numbers. Okay. Of the, yeah, the other ones didn't have a common factor between oh, the numbers other than one. That, okay, that's right. right. Okay. So you always want the greatest common factor. In this case, I can do the two. Two U squared. So now, if I divide my two U squared out, I'm going to get. 5u minus 3. 5u minus 3. 10 divided by 2 is 5. I subtract my exponents so I get u to the first. And then negative 6 divided by 2 is 3. Subtracting my exponents, I get u to the 0, which cancels out. So my other two terms, I have a positive 25u minus a 15. What can I divide 25u by to get 5u? A positive 5. So if I divide each of those by 5, what do I get? 5u minus 3. 5u minus 3. And should match up with that, right? <laughs> so my common factor is the 5u minus 3. If I factor that out, my other factor is 2u squared plus 5. 2u squared plus 5. All right. Now, number four pretty much looks like the ones we did in number three. I don't know why they put that in this section unless they made it a little harder. But you'll also see, like, when we get to number five, we're going to have some higher exponents. Same thing, as long as they've got it in the proper order, just take the first two together and start there. So if I have a 5v to the third minus a 7v to the second, my greatest common factor? 1v squared. 1v squared or just the v squared. It's 5 and 7, only are both divisible by 1. If I take out my v squared, I'm going to have 5v minus 7. So on my other two terms, my minus 10v plus my 14. So what do I have to divide a negative 10v by to get a positive 5v? A negative 2. That's why they stuck that in there, because now I've got to do a negative out instead of a positive. <laughs> so a negative 10v divided by negative 2 gives me positive 5v. And a positive 14 divided by a negative 2 is the minus 7. And we can see we did it correctly because we have our stuff that matches up. <laughs> so our answer on this one's going to be... You guys are just speaking up so quickly. <laughs> v oh, what was seven. that? 5v minus 7. V2 squared v minus 2. V squared minus 2. So 5v minus 7 times v squared minus 2. Number five, factoring by grouping. I can see that my 
exponents go from the highest one down, so it is in the proper order. I'm going to take the 15y to the 6th minus the 25y to the 4th, and the greatest common factor there would be 5y to the 4th, the lower of my two exponents. So if I take 15y to the 6th and divide out the 5y to the 4th, I get 3y squared. 3y squared. Dividing my numbers and subtracting my exponents. If I have negative 25y to the 4th divided by 5y to the 4th, I get negative 5. So my other two terms, I have positive 21y squared minus 35. I have a 21y squared. I want to end up with 3y squared. So I'm going to need to divide that by 7. seven. So a plus 7. And if I divide by 7, I would get 3y squared minus 5. 3y squared minus 5, which is what I want to get. So my common factor is that 3y squared minus 5. And my other factor would be 5y to the 4th plus my 7, right? <laughs> and again, if I really wanted to, I could FOIL that out and check it. They're all in the right order. They didn't do anything screwy on me. <laughs> and so I'm going to take the v to the 6th minus the 2 v to the 4th. But you do want to check that to make sure your variables are in descending order because if they're not, you're going to want to rearrange it. So if I have v to the 6th minus 2 v to the 4th, my greatest common factor is v to the 4th. And if I divide out my v to the 4th, I'm going to get... V squared. V squared. Minus two. Minus two. So then I have negative seven V squared plus fourteen. What do I need to divide out of there? Seven. Not seven, but negative seven, because I want to end up with a positive V squared. So I need my signs to change, so I got to take the negative out. Negative divided by a negative makes that a positive, and a positive divided by a negative is going to make that a negative. And so my factors are going to be v e squared minus 2, and v e squared minus 7. All right. <clears throat> Now those were ones that all had the same variables in the problem. You didn't have more than one variable or any weird stuff like that. <laughs> so now we get to the weird stuff. No. <laughs> so number seven, we're still factoring by grouping because we still have four terms. This time, sometimes we need to rearrange them. We want to group them so we have a pair that has at least something in common. So you look at your list and you pick two of them to go together. Which two would you like to put together? Negative 3u, negative 4y. Now, what do they, those two have in common? <laughs> Not a whole lot, other than a negative sign. Oh, okay, sign. you want us to put something in common together. Yep. We could put the ui with the negative 4y, because they both have y's. Oh, I could okay. have put the first two together, because they do both have u's. Okay. So, we chose to put these two together. They both have y's. We can see, then, that the greatest common factor is y. And if I take the y out... I'm going to be left with u minus, four. u minus 4. So when I write down the other two terms, I want to look to see what I want to have. I want to have a u first, so I want the term with the u first. So I'm going to write down the negative 3u and then the plus 12. And then again, I'm going to say, okay, what do I need to divide out of negative 3u to get just the u? Negative 3. Negative three. The negative 3, exactly. So then when I divide out the negative 3, I'm going to get 
U. U. Plus four. Not U plus four. No, U negative four. Yes, because a positive divided by a negative makes that a negative, changes that sign, right? So now you can see what's in the parentheses is the exact same thing. You're on the right track. And so my factors So U minus 4 is my common factor, and Y minus 3 is my other factor. Okay? So, sometimes there's more than one way to do this, but when you start, you just want to pick out two of the terms that have something in common so that you have a place to start. <laughs> that was 7. We must be on 8 then. <laughs> Number eight. Which pair do you want to start with? Okay, we'll just leave them with the first two. 25y plus 5vy. Both of those are divisible by 5. And <laughs> a y. A 5y would be my greatest common factor. So if I divide them both by 5y, I'm going to get... plus b. Now you'll happen to notice my other two terms are 5 plus v, but you still want to think about what do you divide 5 by to get 5? 1. So I'm going to have a plus 1 in front of my parentheses. 5 divided by 1 is 5, v divided by 1 is still v, but you have to get that second term to put in your parentheses. So it's a 1 if you have it. And so my common factor, 5 plus v, my other factor, 5y plus 1. And if you get stuck and confused and you think, well, that doesn't look like it's working out right, just regroup it and say, oh, maybe I want to put this one with this one because they both have v's. It should end up working out right as long as you start out with a pair that's in common. So if you get stuck and you think, man, I don't know what to do with this, just regroup it and try it again. Otherwise, it's a what? <laughs> so number nine, if you look at that list, which two do you want to put together? 6xd minus 15x. Okay. She says, let's put the 6xv with the minus 15x. So my greatest common factor there would be 3x. So if I take 6xv and I divide it by 3x, I would get 2v. And if I take negative 15x and I divide it by 3x, minus 5. So I use this term and this term. I want the one with the v first because I know I have to have a v in my parentheses. So the plus 14v and the minus 35. So what am I going to divide the 14v by to get the 2v? Positive 7. Divide them both by 7, I would get 2v minus 5 that I'm supposed to get. <laughs> Therefore, my factors are going to be 2v minus 5 times the 3x plus 7. Again, we are factoring by grouping. So again, when we do this, we want to group them together in a way they make sense. Now here, when I have different exponents, I like to start with the one with the highest exponent. So I would probably say, I'm going to take the 8w squared, and then I'm going to look at my list and say, which one has the most in common with the 8w squared? The plus 16w. And those are the two I'm going to start with, just so I have a place to start. So we start with the one with the highest exponent, just like we did on those first ones that were in the right order. <laughs> so out of my 8w squared and my 16w, I can divide them both by 8w. Eight. Eight. 
And so if I divide out the 8W, I would get W, w plus 2. Plus 2. W plus 2. So again, when I'm writing down the other two terms, I look to see what I want to have first. I want the one with the W first. So I'm going to have the minus WX and the minus 2X. And then I'm going to say, what do I need to divide the minus WX by to get a positive W? A negative W. A negative, not the negative W, but X. the X, the negative X. You can see they both have an X in common here. <laughs> So, negative divided by a negative is going to leave me the positive W. Negative divided by a negative is going to leave me a positive 2. So, my common factor is the W plus 2. My other factor, the 8W minus X. And again, I could FOIL that out if I really wanted to check my work. Eleven must be on. I get lost when my board keeps moving on me. All right, so number eleven, if you look at that list, which pair should I probably start with? Negative 7u squared and the 21 u. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> so out of those two terms, I can divide them both by 7u seven. Seven. squared. No u. Just a u. 7u. So if I take negative 7u squared and I divide it by 7u, I get u. Not just u, but negative u. Negative u. And if I take 21u divided by 7u, I get plus 3. So, of those other two terms, which one should I write down first? The negative uv. Negative uv plus 3v. So, if I have a negative uv and I want to get negative u, what should I divide out? V. Just the v, and it's going to be positive because I don't want my sign to change. So if I divide them both by a positive V, I'm going to get a negative U plus 3, which is what I'm supposed to get, right? <laughs> so my common factor is the negative U plus 3. My other factor would be 7U plus V, exactly. Number 12, still factoring the grouping. Which two should I group together to start with? Negative 3u squared, negative 6u. I don't know if it's going to be a negative or positive. Since both of these are negative, it's best to do the negative. So, negative 3u. So, if I take negative 3u squared divided by negative 3u, I'm going to get u. a u. And if I take a negative 6u divided by a negative 3u, I get positive 2. Positive 2. So, that's about the only time I take the negative out first is if they're both negative. Of my other two terms, which order should I write them down? Positive u x, and then the positive two x. So if I have a positive u x and I want to get a u, I'm going to take out positive x. And so I'm going to get u plus two. So my factors. And again, if you weren't sure you did it right, you can always FOIL it out and check to see if you get your terms that you're supposed to get and all your signs are right and all that good stuff. Oh, 
They only put four things on that page. They must have figured it was all factoring by grouping. That's what you're going to do today. 